All right, cue up that Christmas holiday music because look at, look at this. Casa Loma transformed for the holiday season. The castle and surrounding area have been bedazzled with thousands of Christmas lights and decorations. Well, it looks absolutely stunning, and our GM Leah has a front row seat this morning. She's at Casa Loma giving us a sneak peek of all the holiday festivities and displays there. G, it is just lit. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> it is lit, and uh, I'm hanging out with literally the hottest guy in town. This is Fire Guy, and uh, he just uh, lit my torch here. <laughs> well, you can't light another's path without lighting your own. <laughs> I love that uh, you're here this morning joining us because you're bringing a little bit of warmth here. Yes, happy holiday lights, everybody. We're uh, here at Casa Loma uh, doing some holiday lighting outside here and uh, these are the flaming devil sticks and this is how I shave. <laughs> yes. And I love the fact that you are here as part of the Holiday Lights Tour here at Castle Loma. It really is a magical place this time of year, right? Uh, Christmas in the castle yeah. in the daytime, holiday lights at night, castleloma.ca for the tickets yeah. come we're here every day doing shows for you i'm going to show you a couple more fire tricks here we're going to do some fire juggling for okay. you right now okay, some I'll fire stand back. juggling tricks here it is oh yeah a few tricks with three torches here okay we're going to do double spins this is two rotations then double 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 Double, double, Woo! yay! That's how I get my coffee, double, double. <laughs> I understand that you are in the Guinness Book of World Records. I today. am, I'm the world's number one fire eater. I eat the most, I've, I've actually got the Guinness World Record in fire eating. Wow, well, and when was that issued? This oh, is 2018. I ate the most torches in one minute at the Wisconsin State Fair. Yeah. 2008, a record I still hold today. Wow. You know, like many Canadians before me, I go to the United States to get recognized in Canada. <laughs> Congratulations. So, okay, do you want to see some fire eating? Sure, sure. Let's okay. Do it. And while he's doing that, you can catch Fire Guy here at Castle Mines, you mentioned, with the Holiday Lights Tour. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. Um, we also know that Castle Loma is a long-standing partner with CP24 Chum Christmas Wish. So when you come here for a tour, bring a new uh, unwrapped toy. You can make that donation because, frankly, every child deserves to open a present Absolutely. on Christmas Day. Absolutely. And when you see the kids come through, they must be so thrilled to watch your performance. Wow, well, I do my best to try to light up their spirits in the most lit-up place in Toronto. Holiday lights, Castle Loma. .ca for your Love tickets. It. And I don't know if you can see, but his jacket has red lights going. Like, you are really in the holiday spirit here. You, you, you gotta hit the theme here. <laughs> Square on the head. Castle Loma. No place better in the city of Toronto. A castle in the city. How many great cities in the world have this? Not for, many, folks. Oh, thanks so much, Fire Guy. We really appreciate you joining I us. I appreciate you. You're yes. carrying a torch for me, and that's I really, know, really cool. right? And thank you for lighting the torch and not the microphone. <laughs> We're taking a break here on CP24 Breakfast. More to come live from Castle Loma. Come to the castle. It's lit. Good morning, Nick. It truly is a magical place here in this city. And you're right, Holiday Lights Tour running on select dates right through till January 8th, right here on the grounds. And then you also have Christmas at the Castle, which is also running on select dates right through till January 6th. It is magical here at Castle Loma. And they've been a long-standing partner for the CB24 Chum Christmas Wish. So bring a new unwrapped toy and make a donation to the Wish. Joining me now is a magician, Spencer Skur. Good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. All right, you're going to walk us through a little magic trick. Absolutely. G, can I have you check out this piece of rope here? Give it a pull, make sure that's all real? Mm, yes. Excellent. I'll take this side here. I've also got a pair of scissors. And when you see a pair of scissors and a piece of rope, I think you can tell what's about to happen next. But I want to make sure everyone can see it nice and close. And it's not the most even cut, but that's all right, because using an ancient technique, thousands of years old, I am going to reconnect these. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> Just like that, they're completely reconnected. How did you do that? That's technically thousands of years old, right? <laughs> now we're going to do something a little bit better than that, something a little bit more exciting. I'll tie it a little bit better, 
and we'll clean it up. And now they're completely reconnected. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to take it a step further. We'll take it a couple steps further, actually. I've got a little bit of fuel here, and we're going to add some fuel to the knot. And maybe a little on this side, too. That's probably a little too much, I can tell, because it's all over my hand. We'll do a bit of a bonus trick called Do Not Try This at Home. And that's a great time for a lighter to stop working, which is why I always got a second <laughs> one on me here. We've got one rope cut into two, two pieces tied back together. That knot is soaked in fuel, and that fuel is about to be set on fire. And as this burns, I'd like everyone to look into that flame. Now's a great time to make a holiday wish. All right, I'm think making of, one right you're now. You're making one right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe also think about some folks you'd like to reconnect with this season, some friends or family you'd like to see. And we're going to count down together, three, two, one. Are you All ready? Right, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, three two, two, one. <sighs> Stop. And right there, they truly are. You can check that out completely. Stop. <laughs> reconnected. How did you do that? Wait, can I run my that, fingers? You through? can run your fingers across that. That what? is completely. That was incredible. Real. Thank you so much. Thank and you. of course, you can catch uh, Spencer the Magician right here at Castle Loma. It's all part of the uh, programming here for Holiday Lights Tour. Unbelievable. I'm always amazed when magicians Thank do you. something like that. And I'm standing right here watching it, and I don't know how you did that. And you can even see the pieces that were cut. And look at that. Amazing. And then again, uh, Castle Loma, part of the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish, a long-standing partner. And again, if you want more information of all the incredible events here taking place, castleloma.ca. And as for the wish, just text the word WISH to 30333. Or to get more information and make a donation, just go to thewish.ca. Nick, Jen, how incredible was that? Thank you. And here, I have something for you, actually. Oh. It starts out as just a little red ball, but yes. if I squeeze down on it nice and tight, I want you to wave your hand over it. Say the magic words. Today, the magic words are, let it snow. Let it snow. And I'll squeeze down on that ball yeah. nice and tight, and it'll change <gasps> into a little snowflake, and that is for you. Look at that. It is magical here at Casa Loma. And many people may not know, but we're here in the stables. It's actually across the street from the castle. But what's really cool, if you take the holiday lights tour, you go through the tunnel underground. And while you're going through the tunnel, it is an incredible experience. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but the animatronics, the production, the lights, it is incredible. And of course, we're here in the stables. Joining me now is Katrina Delaney, General Manager of Casa Loma. And Katrina, I don't know how you and your team do it. You transform the castle from one event to another, and it is really magical at Christmas. It's quite a flip. Like, yeah. We definitely, we go from October 31st, Halloween, and we, we knock it all out. We're gonna make this place look amazing, put so much stuff, and then November 1st, we go, oh wow. We have to now take that all out and put it away. We do it in about five days, and then we wow. take 21 days to just wrap this castle in tinsel and lights to get it all set up for the Holiday Lights Tour and Christmas at the Castle Day program. I love it. And there are two events. We have Christmas at the Castle and then the Holiday Lights Tour, day and night. Day and night. So Holiday Nights Tour is the evening. When you come from the outside of the grounds, it's an out outside opportunity. But all roads lead to this certain special place and a certain special someone. And the day program is really an indoor program with all kinds of activities for kids, but families too, our magic show, and we've got our night before Christmas and our aerialist. And again, everybody comes through the tunnel and then all roads lead to our little friend here. And who is our friend? Let me introduce you to him. You may have met him before. His name is Santa. Santa! He knows some things. He wants to know if you've been naughty or nice. Oh, I think I've been good. Let's go on in. What do you mean think? I know you've been good. You've always been good. Yeah, I haven't you. seen you since you were little. I know. My I've good. grown a lot. Do you still have that spirograph set I brought you back in the day? I do. Good I loved for you. it. It was one of my favorite games. She always games. took such good care of her toys. Did she? What did I do, Santa? Was I good? Of course. It... I, I, I'm, why do you even have to ask? Of course you've been good. There's, I'd like to put an end to the rumors. There isn't a naughty list. Yeah. All the children are good and nice. 
<laughs> well, it's interesting, Santa, that one of the things that we like to talk about here at Castle Loma, and one of the things that we like to do at Castle Loma is also make sure that this is a season of sharing and caring, and that we do give back to the community and we do give back to kids. So we always have that invitation out there to all of our guests because we've been partners for a number of years, six years, I believe, that we've with uh, Chum Christmas, Christmas Wish, and we invite all of our guests to bring um, a new wrapped gift and bring it to the castle. Whether you're doing the holiday lights program outside, you can leave it at the gates and we'll make sure it finds its way to the bin. Or when you come into the castle during Christmas, um, Christmas at the castle, bring a gift so that we can make sure that those uh, gifts get into the hands of kids who maybe might not otherwise have a gift under the tree. Because Santa, it's very difficult to make it to every single tree, so we're doing our part do here in Santa's best. workshop. I do have a lot of helpers out there. Yep. And you know, if you think getting a present is great, makes you feel good in your heart, wait till you give somebody something and see how happy it makes them. That's why I do what I do. You do, <laughs> and it makes us feel good too. We absolutely love to give out to the kids. We wanna make sure that every kid has a gift under their tree. So if guests to the castle, get uh, come and visit us at castleloma.ca for tickets and bring a gift with them so that we can pass that on to a child who might not otherwise have one. I think that's a really special way to, to remember what this season really is about. And we need this season and we need to have these sharing and caring opportunities. It's, it's um, we need to be human in that way. I think it's important. And tis the season to give. Yeah. Let's get our little photo op here oh, with Santa. And again, if you want to help out the wish.ca, you can also text the word wish to 30333 to make that donation. All right, are we going to say, what do we say? Ho, ho, ho? That, yeah, yeah, that, that's a good one. But yeah. I can't say just three times. Okay. It's like a potato chip. You got to go away. I can't just have three. Okay, All right, ready? we'll follow your here lead. Ready, go. Ho, 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 studio <laughs> and it is beautiful we're here in the great hall and i have to say this is probably the prettiest tree i've seen so far look how spectacular the christmas tree here is at castle loma and this is all part of christmas at the castle the outdoor portion is the holiday lights tour and of course you head to the stable and you'll see santa right there it really is magical but it's christmas is that time of year it's for the kids joining me once again is katrina general manager with castle loma and you have a very special presentation for us. We do. Yeah. Oh, we're so excited to, you know, first of all, we love the partnership that we have with CP24 and the CP Chum 24 Christmas Wish. Mm -hmm. It's a really big deal for us. There's no better place really for, uh, for us to be able to collect gifts for you because we have so many members of the public who come through the castle, through holiday lights and through Christmas at the castle. We have thousands of people come through and the opportunity for the public to bring a gift in that's wrapped, new, wrapped into a box that we can give to a deserving child or a child in need is just something that you know, warms our heart and is very special to us. So thank you for always partnering with us on that. And we're very, very happy uh, to be able to do that. And then we do have a special presentation right. for you uh, this year. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. We have, uh, on behalf of Liberty Group in Casa Loma, a $10,000 uh, donation to the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish. And we are very delighted to pass it over to you. Ooh, thank you so much. $10,000 is going to go a long way. And again, I know for a lot of people out there, it's a tough time. Um, inflation is hitting people really hard. So this is going to make a difference for families who really need just that little bit of help. Absolutely. Yeah. It, all, Christmas can be hard for a lot of people, but these days more than ever, we want to make sure that people or children who may otherwise be going without still have an opportunity to have something special to, to wrap under a tree. And it is a season of giving and it feels good to give and we feel really happy to be able to do this. And of course, it's not too late. You can go to the wish.ca for more information on how to donate. You can even text the word wish to 30333 for a $10 donation. Uh, Asanta, yes. you're always giving and, and you've got so your little helper everybody here. everybody else and that's what it's all about. Everybody can be like me, just have to give from the heart. Oh, <laughs> and I love it. And you have an incredible team here oh, with do. Liberty Group and Castle Loma. Let's bring we them do. all Let's bring in. Them in. Come on, These in, guys. are all Santa's helpers. Aren't they a handsome group? My we goodness. Sure come over, come, come on, on in. Come on in. So again, up. on come behalf close, of close. the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish, we want to thank Castle Loma, your team, and Liberty Group for this incredible donation and all the gifts that uh, people come uh, to uh, drop off right here at the castle. So thank you so much. Thank you, G. Thanks to all of you. And from all all the incredible team here we want to say back to studio happy, happy holidays, holidays. <laughs> we'll send it back to you <laughs>
Well, the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish continues today, in fact, all month long. And today's donor of the day is Jill Yoga. That's right. For more on their programming and charitable donations, we're going live to G and Lee, who's at the yoga studio this morning. <laughs> G, getting her stretch on and giving back. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that nothing <laughs> tightens up when I hit the mat with the kids. But yeah, we're here at Upper Canada wow. Mall. Uh, this is a pop-up shop for Jill Yoga. And take a look at this. Oh my goodness, look at all these bags and these brand new toys and it's all going to the kids for the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish. I love seeing this. So we're gonna bring in Nina and Rena, their sisters. Come on in ladies, how are you? Good. Hi, good, we're Hi. so happy to be here this morning. So Nina, first of all, I'll start with you. Look at this, this is incredible. So what do we have here? So we have 150 Jill Yoga gift bags, yes. size from size two to all the way up to teens. Um, each has a full outfit with to wear outfit and accessories. Amazing. And then, Rena, I know that there are several different divisions <laughs> within your family company. So, yes. Rank is another uh, aspect of that. And you have um, uh, more donations that you're going to be yes. making. Yes, Rank is a parent company. Yes. Um, it is Canadian owned. It was started by my parents close to 50 years ago, Cash and Amy. And we have decided that we are going to drop off 3,000 gloves and socks to the Wish at your central location and we're excited. We have been a men's ladies uh, kids company and we're excited that we're able to reach so many kids through you guys. So thank you very much. Especially oh no, and thank you. Year. Especially this time of year. And uh, you were saying that this was really important for your family, always giving back and, yes, and yeah. this means a lot. Our yeah. parents and our, as a family and as a business, we've, it's been a lot about giving back over the years. So we're 50 years old, so they started it. Um, 50 years ago. And we have a cute little class. Yes. What's what's this all about? So we offer in the pop-up complimentary yoga classes for families and it's it's heartwarming to see young kids put down any kind of devices and do yoga. The <laughs> mindfulness of yoga, watch them focus and enjoy themselves for an there hour, it's no amazing. <laughs> there are no phones, no devices of no any device. kind. And these are free classes? Yes, complimentary yes. classes that we offer here. And, and it's not just kids, you have puppies. Oh, this evening, so we have, so today's our wish day. So this evening we have a puppy yoga class. So add to this about a dozen puppies. And there's not a stress or a worry in the room. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And that's right, you can't go wrong with puppies <laughs> and kids. What's happening here? Hi. Can I ask you, what's your name? Madison. Madison. And what are you doing here, Madison? Teaching. Well, you're teaching? <laughs> you have a beautiful scarf. How old are you, Madison? Four. Four? Okay. Hi, what's your name? Zyra. Zyra, and what are you doing here? What is this? A windmill. Okay, and are you having fun in this pop-up yoga class? Is it fun doing it with mom? <laughs> Hi, mom. What's your name? I'm Raz. Raz. So how cool is this to be able to do something like this with your child? It's awesome. We've been working out since we were, she was like a baby. So yeah. doing things like this with her now, it's it's so fun to do. And I have to say, both Anina and Rena just said the class is great because the kids don't have their devices. No technology in this class, right? No, right? <laughs> All right, I'll join you. Please continue. And again, we're here at Jill Yoga, and of course you see all the incredible donations. It's not too late to donate. You can drop off a brand new unwrapped toy here at this pop-up location. You can also go to the wish.ca for more information, or text the word wish to 30333. I am feeling like I'm trying to stretch it out before anything tightens up. But I need to point out, look at all these incredible bags here. So Jill Yoga is donating all these clothes, and then they've asked their customers to also bring in new new unwrapped toys. What I love the most is one of the biggest challenges when collecting these toys is the tweens and teen category. So I love seeing things like this. We also have clothes that go all the way up into the teen years. So thank you so much for everyone who's donated. It's still not too late. You just have to go to the wish.ca or text the word wish to 30333 to make that donation. What I love about Jill Yoga is here you have these incredible pop-ups happening and we've got little yogis doing a little bit of yoga. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Madeline. And are you having fun? Yeah, do you like yoga? 
Can you show me one of your poses? Show me a pose. What can you do? <gasps> Amazing! All right, so we have Monica here, who's the owner of Little Yogi's Academy. Good morning, Monica. Okay, so what are we doing here in this class? So we have, we usually go into, typically we go into child cares, and we also go into schools to provide enrichment programming through yoga, but we have a great partnership with Jill Yoga, and they've um, run mom and mini pop-up classes, and so we're doing our curriculum right now. So we use flashcards to try and get the children engaged. Can you bring those flashcards yeah. in here? Let's have a look. So, it's, so come right now on they're over. doing a little triangle pose. Oh, right. With a gingerbread. This is holiday theme, so we're doing a little triangle. Do you want to try, Madeline? What a great oh. idea. Yeah. And I love the fact that they're doing yoga, but you're doing it in a way that's a lot of fun. Exactly. Oh, yeah. We make it age appropriate. Um, yeah, and you can visit more on uh, littleyogisacademy.com. Okay, sounds good. So everyone's having a great time, okay? Uh, Mom, I want to ask you, obviously we just talked to your daughter there. What's it like to come into something like this? Oh, it's fantastic. It gets their minds going. It gets their bodies going. Yeah. It uh, it just encourages that healthy lifestyle that we, we all so desperately want them to have. For sure. And then I love seeing all the toys and donations. I've always said every child deserves a gift under the tree. Oh, absolutely. And um, I, I couldn't agree more. And as, I, I'm a teacher myself, and, and I... I Totally am in support of making sure every child has a smile on Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll let you get back to the doing. Oh, you don't want to do it anymore? No, you want to take a break. Okay, how about this one? <gasps> What's your name? Ava. Ava, are you having a good time? Yeah, what pose? Is this are you, daddy right here? Yeah, and do you like yoga? Yeah, what's your favorite pose? Can you show me your favorite pose? Show me your favorite pose. <gasps> Do it again. Oh, that's really good. Thank you so much. I'm going to try that too, okay? Should I try it like this? There you go. Tree pose. Are we a tree? Okay, so we're having so much fun here at Jill Yoga. Again, if you want to swing by and make a donation, you can. We're here at Upper Canada Mall. I'm staying limber because I'm at that age where anything can go at any moment. But you know what? I'm too busy looking at all the incredible fashion here. I mean, how cute is this, right? Matching outfits for you and your kid. This is where I kind of wish I had a girl because then I'd be wearing matching outfits with her. But anyway, it's all good. And they're donating a lot of these cool clothes here at Jill Yoga to the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish. I mean, look at all these incredible donations. And they're also asking their customers to drop off any new unwrapped toys. So thank you so much. And again, you can go to the wish.ca for more information. Now, believe it or not, this is a yoga class. It's loud, but it is fun. And that's what's happening right here. Joining me now is Raz. She's one of the moms here. She's here with her daughter having a great time. Okay, so Raz, what are we doing here? We are doing partner yoga. Oh, this is partner this yoga. This is partner yoga. And you're doing it with your daughter I am doing it with my little daughter, but okay. she has shorter legs than I do. <laughs> And how much fun is it to participate in something like this? It is like so this? much fun. Yeah. It actually helps her find ways to make her calm when she's angry. Right. It got over her dog fears by doing puppy yoga. Yes. Um, but it's so much fun that I have a workout buddy. <laughs> you do. And a a full-time workout buddy. And I know it's a little cool in here, but you actually have matching outfits, right? We do have matching outfits. I know. This is where I wish I had a daughter because I would have done the exact oh, same thing. Oh, we do it all the time. Yeah. And Jill Yoga is one of our favorite spots that we find our matching mommy and me yoga outfits. It's so much oh, fun. Oh, she wants to do it. And how great is it to see all these new toys that are going to go it's to kids? It's so awesome. Yeah. We've given back. Which I'm, it's a great way to give back. We've donated toys for ourselves, so it's so much fun. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We got to give a shout out to the only dad here. Hi. What's your name? Raul. Raul. And we had a chance to speak to your daughter here. Are you having fun? I am having fun. Right? I am that dad here. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. And your daughter loves yoga. Do you like yoga? You were showing me your tr you were showing me your tree earlier. Okay, I'll let you get back to dad. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. And again, you want to emphasize the matching outfits? Look at this. You've got the matching outfits right here. Hi, what's your name? Juliet Rose. And who is this little one right here? That's Bella. And who is Bella? And you're going to squat down, ready? That's your sister. Really? How old is she? Uh, she's two. Are you two? She's two and she's a little shy. How old are you? I'm four. You're four, and I love that you have the matching outfits. Are you having a good time here? Uh-huh. Can you say happy holidays to everyone who's watching happy us? Happy holidays. 
You're adorable. Okay, show me your favorite yoga pose. Oh, wow, good job, good job. Okay, let's see if we can get shy little sister here. Hi, what's your name? No? Okay, she's shy. <laughs> Leave her. All right, so there are more happening here at Jill Yoga. The kids are having fun, and again, it's all for a wonderful cause. The wish.ca for more information. Every child deserves a present under the tree. The kids are having so much fun. Adults are having fun as well, and this is a free class here at Jill Yoga at the Upper Canada Mall. And it's really about getting the kids involved and the parents involved, but it's also about giving back, and that's exactly what Jill Yoga is doing. Uh, joining me now are Jenna and Margaret with Jill Yoga. As you can see, a massive collection here for the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us some of the things that you're donating. So today we're donating a full outfit, leggings, sweatshirt, hood. Uh, t-shirts with matching accessories and for the teens we have the yoga mats so as we know the teens really are need uh, more yes it's a tough category teens yes a tough category yeah. Yeah. so I love the fact that they get the matching outfits and the yoga mat and how many bags do you have here we have 150 bags we're donating today wow. along with the toys and teddy bears love it and then Margaret well, how important was it to get your staff and your team on board to doing all this it was so exciting because we've been doing these classes with little yogis for the last year and we wanted to find a way to give back and we thought what better way to have our attendees bring in a toy over the last month to the classes and we've also had our uh, store customers bring toys as well along with uh, monetary donations and it's been really well received so we're really happy and Amazing. excited. We really appreciate it. Every child deserves a gift under the tree. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. I know it's loud. It's loud because the kids are having so much fun here. My goodness. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Rhea. Rhea. Okay, so you're teaching some of this, uh, the classes here. Tell me a little bit more of what we're doing. Yeah, we're just playing a game right now with the parachute, and they're just trying to keep the ball in. Um, super exciting if you want to join it. <laughs> you know, I thought yoga was supposed to be quiet and relaxing. You got to add a little fun to it sometimes. <laughs> you have to add a lot of fun. And I love that the kids are having a great time. Okay, let me see. I talked to all of them, but let's talk to them again. Hi. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you having fun? What are you trying to do? Parachuting. Yes, and you're trying to keep the ball on the parachute? Yeah. Are you having a good time? Is this a fun class, doing it with mommy? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. She's too busy. She's too busy. This is a lot of fun. It's so much fun. I know. I thought yoga was supposed to be relaxing, but I guess let's toss some fun. Oh, in absolutely. Too. Why not? <laughs> and again, these are free classes here. You've got the kids. You've got the puppies. Uh, so you know what? We're going to bring in everybody from Jill Yoga. Let's bring in everybody together. and. Kids, can we look at the camera? Let's come on in, Jill. Yoga team. And we're going to look at the camera. We're going to do a final happy holiday. Are we all ready? Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three.